OK, so let's say I want to determine how many terms there are in each of the sequences. OK, so in each of these cases, I'm trying to find n, really, for that last term. So for this first example, we have that the first term is 3, and the common difference be is 4, because we're going up in 4s. OK, so I want to know which value of n will give me 599. So I know that 599 is my un, that nth term, that last term that I'm looking for. The a is 3. The n, I don't know. That's what I want to work out, and the d is 4. So it gives me an equation to solve. So if I multiply that out or simplify it, take the 3 from both sides, so I have 5, 9, 6. So I've got 4n minus 4. Add the 4 to both sides, so that's 600 is 4n. And then divide both sides by 4, and so n must be 150. So there must be 150 terms in that sequence. Okay? So that's how we can work with this. And we're going to use a similar method for each of these. So for number 2, we have that the first term is 53. And the common difference is, well, in this case, we're going down in 6s each time. The minus 349 is the term I want to find. I want to find out what value of n gives me that. a is 53. n minus 1, I don't know the n, and the d is the minus 6. So, I'm going to bring out the calculator for this one. So we've got the minus 349. Let's take that 53 from both sides. So that gets me minus 402 is equal to, well, I'm going to multiply that bracket as well, so minus 6n plus 6. Subtract the 6 from both sides, so minus 408 is minus 6n. And then divide both sides by minus 6. And that gets me 68. So that means that there are 68 terms in the second sequence. OK? So a similar method. And then finally, number 3. First term is minus 7. The common difference is 0 0.2. That's what I'm adding on each time. So 100.8 is equal to minus 7 plus n minus 1 times 0 0.2. Add the 7 to both sides, so 107.8. Multiply through is 0.2n minus 0.2. Add the 0.2 to both sides, so that's 108 is 0.2n. And then 108 divided by 0.2 is 540. And so there are 540 terms in sequence number 3.